said in Hollywood, losing weight would be great for your career. But the celebrities on today's list got cancelled for losing weight. Let's get into it. Rebel Wilson had one of the biggest turnarounds in Hollywood. She made many jokes about her weight, and her character was even named Fat Amy in the Pitch Perfect series. She used it to her advantage to build her comedy, but when she lost the weight, she lost her fans as well. People started thinking she wasn't nearly as funny as she was, which simply isn't true. And she had a lot of people saying that, well, by losing the weight, it would put a dent in her career. Apparently, it did give her the opportunity to have a healthier lifestyle and, you know, a smaller dress size, which sometimes comes in handy. She's like, sometimes being bigger, people didn't necessarily look twice at you. And now that I'm in a good shape, like people offer to carry my groceries to the car and hold doors open. But critics have called her weight loss kind of toxic and depressing and a symptom of Hollywood's fat phobia. Kind of sad. So Lizzo has no shame in who she is, and she allegedly empowers others to feel the same way. But when she went on a full detox to lose weight, people started questioning her. Then when fans found out that she went vegan just to lose weight, they were furious, saying that she was doing the opposite of what she stood for. Now she defended herself on Instagram saying, I detoxed my body and I'm still fat. Sure, yes, in reality she is still happy with herself and she just wants to feel healthier. She said that both versions of her were happy, this one is just healthier. Shaming people doesn't make a difference, supporting their change does. But here's the thing. She's been cancelled for other reasons as well. Late last year, news broke that three former dancers accused Lizzo of harassment and creating a hostile work environment in a lawsuit that was filed in California. To be specific, Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noelle Rodriguez accused Lizzo, along with her production company, Big Girl Big Touring, and her dance team captain, Shirlene Quigley, of religious and racial harassment, disability discrimination, false imprisonment, and more. So why is this relevant? Well, the complaint says Lizzo drew attention to a dancer's weight after an appearance at the South by Southwest Music Festival in Austin, Texas, and pressured dancers to engage with new dancers at clubs in Amsterdam and Paris, which not a great move for somebody whose entire brand is about loving your body. There are also claims that Lizzo took her crew to a nude cabaret bar without disclosing what the bar was, and berated dancers and fired one on the spot for recording a meeting. Like one dancer says that she soiled her pants during a rehearsal because she was so afraid of losing her job. And the lawsuit also says that quickly publicly discussed one dancer's virginity. After the lawsuit was filed, two more women came forward backing up the allegations. Former dancer Courtney Hollenquest and Lizzo's former creative director took to Instagram to add their support. Now, Hollenquest, in a sense expired story, clarified she was not part of the lawsuit, but this was very much my experience in my time there. And Wilson added on saying, I haven't been part of that world for around three years for a reason. I very much applaud the dancer's courage to bring this to light. And I grieve parts of my own experience. I'd appreciate space to understand my feelings. So what makes these particular allegations so shocking? Lizzo has been very vocal about body positivity and women's rights since kicking off her career, becoming something of a champion and role model. And uh, you know, she even did interviews saying like, people saying stuff that's mean about her, that's fat phobic and hurtful. And she's like, eh, feel like my music, cool. If you don't like me because of the way I look, well, that respect goes both ways. Like if you can't be respectful to your employees, you kind of deserve to be canceled. Ariel Winter thought getting her big break in Modern Family was going to be the greatest thing that ever happened to her, but it kind of took a toll on her mental health. She has been bullied for her weight for years, considering she was the heavier sister on the show. But when she lost weight as she got older, she was ridiculed by fans once again. One fan even commented on her Insta saying, I know it's good to be maintaining a healthy weight and all, and you can do whatever you want with your body, just please don't get skinny. Like the audacity? No, absolutely not. So Megan Trainor's got two kids and a whole lot of curves for a mom. But people still make fun of her for losing weight. Like, goodness forbid, she ate a bit healthier. She worked out regularly, even though she had like a crazy schedule. People have been making fun of her for losing the weight that made her famous in the first place. And it wasn't even that much either. She lost 20 pounds, which made a world of difference for her, but it's not that crazy. She just wanted to be healthier for her sake and also like for her kids, which it's so wholesome. Instead of folks dissing her for it, you should just be more supportive. So Adele has been hitting it out of the park in the musical world for years. So when she lost some weight, it shouldn't have made a difference, right? Well, some people started to give her their opinions on her weight and her body type after she lost the weight. Some folks celebrated her transformation, while others were troubled by it and even went so far as to call her a sellout. One said, celebrating Adele's weight loss is a garbage thing to do for a million reasons. It tells your fat friends that you think their bodies are a problem that needs to be solved. 
Please stop saying Adele had a glow up, wrote another person online. We have no idea what her health was or is like, and this is just reinforcing the skinny ideal or the concept that the skinnier you are, the prettier you get. Some blog writers even said it's a strange thing to do because it implied that she was, well, heavy before when she wasn't. So at that point, the haters were just going too far and completely missed the point of her losing weight because it made her feel good, not because of social standards. Now, Adele has refrained from much discussion of her body, but when she hosted Saturday Night Live in October of 2020, she made that in the situation. She said, I know, I look really, really different since you last saw me, but actually because of all the restrictions in the world and the travel bans, I had to travel light and I could only bring half of me. And this is the half I chose. It's kind of funny. So Jonah Hill made an incredible turnaround and shed more than just a couple of pounds. But to this day, he doesn't really want people talking about it. He didn't brag much on social media. He didn't really keep up with progress photos simply because he feels like it's nobody's business what he does with his weight. Even if it did cause a lot of fan outrage because he was often typecast because of said weight. In an interview, Sharon Stone asked for his permission to say he looked amazing, which honestly, super respectful to do but fans didn't really appreciate that. Overall, it was a lose-lose situation, even if he was a healthier version of himself. So Khloe Kardashian has been on a weight loss journey ever since she welcomed her daughter True in April of 2018. She's documented it online. She's shared her workouts on her Insta, her Snapchat, her family's reality TV show. In 2023, however, her weight loss started heating up to a whole other level. So apparently on her family's TV show, she was known by people as the fat sister because she didn't have as much work done on her body as her sisters did. And she's got some curves. Well, she got what she called a revenge body. So she dropped a lot of weight. She gained some muscle to be more visually appealing, but the fans, weren't happy with that at all, at all. Chloe has continued to document not just her workouts, but like also the results. And one fan was like, the fact that she uses diabetic medicine to get this skinny is disturbing, alleging that Chloe uses semaglutide, which is commonly used in medicines like Ozempic to achieve her svelte figure. Now, according to the FDA, the medications are used for chronic weight management in adults with obesity or who are overweight with a weight related condition, including high blood pressure or type two diabetes. Look, jokes on everyone. Chloe is happy and healthy happily married with kids. Like, you know, she's got that. So Amy Schumer was seen as overweight in the eyes of Hollywood and even played on that point when she starred in the movie, I Feel Pretty. But she can still appease Hollywood even when she's dropped a bunch of weight to feel better about herself. But she's been met with a lot of criticism about that. She has handled the entire ordeal the same way she has with everything else in life, making sarcastic remarks and jokes about the feedback on her face and body and how everybody's got an opinion on everything. She tweeted in response to the haters saying she felt happy with herself. She felt healthy. She only weighed in at 160, which like isn't that much over the average weight being somewhere between 120 to 155, depending on body type and age. Few actors are as devoted to character transformations as Christian Bale, who has gained and lost incredible amounts of weight from many of his past roles. He's kind of notorious for this, and it's not exactly healthy. He gained over 40 pounds for his role in Vice, lost over 60 pounds for his role in The Machinist, both of which were kind of extreme. Now, after that role in The Machinist, where he weighed like 120, he had to gain 100 pounds in six months for Batman Begins, but then had to lose 30 pounds again before filming because he bulked up too much. He's even done special exercises to thicken his neck in order to physically fulfill the demands of his movie roles. No, you know, big suits or doing it halfway for this guy. Look, it's one thing to commit to a role, but when you fluctuate that much and that quickly, it's not healthy. So naturally, people have hated on him for it. Now, however, he has recently revealed that those days might be soon behind him. He's like, I've become a little more boring now. I'm older. I feel like if I keep doing this, I'm gonna die so I'd prefer not to die. And I think all of his fans would agree. Now, Ashley Graham, the amazing plus size model that she is, is known for her curves and recently took to Instagram to promote self-love. She's like, love the skin you're in. Now, she gave birth to a son in 2020 and captioned a post featuring her nude with her stretch marks on display, and fans were quick to shower her with praise in the comments. But she's also been on the receiving end of hateful messages about her body. Like in 2016, she posted a seemingly slimmer photo on Insta and people didn't like it. They were like, why are you changing yourself? I thought you were comfortable being yourself and being plus size. Now, Ashley hit back, being like, nothing is never enough for you. But at the end of the day, I'm good enough for me. And that's it for me once again, folks. I've been Alexa, your resident emo girly. See y'all here next time beyond the screen.